What do you do if you get dispatched to a fire involving a lithium ion battery? What if you're not a firefighter and you're at home and a battery starts on fire? Watch this video to learn some details about lithium ion battery fires. I'm Captain Durham, EV engineer and founder of Stash Training. This video is gonna deal with smaller lithium ion batteries, things like your cell phone or a drill battery, all the way up to things the size of an e-mobility device like a scooter or a wheelchair. A common failure mode for these devices is during charging. The batteries heat up, there may be some mechanical damage inside, and then they fail. They fail very energetically. You have smaller devices like your cell phone or other small devices, laptops, for example, they use smaller cells. They could be cylindrical, they could be pouch style. These cylindrical cells, when they fail, they can actually shoot out of the device and launch across the room. If you're at home, sitting on the couch, watching TV, maybe you're reading a book in bed and your device fails, the best thing you can do is get out of there, evacuate the structure, call 911. The devices, when these things fail, get extremely hot. It's an exothermic chemical reaction. It puts out lots of heat, 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't wanna reach in, grab these devices and try to take care of them yourself. You're likely to burn your hands. Also, the smoke given off when these things fail, extremely toxic. It's not something you wanna breathe in. Likely with your smaller devices, you're not gonna have a lot of fire in the room after this goes out. It should be fairly easy for the fire department to put it out with a water can or a fire extinguisher. Speaking of fire extinguishers, I recommend every household have at least one, two, three. Have these things near your exits. Don't put them underneath your kitchen sink where it's difficult to get at if you have a kitchen fire. Have them easily accessible. Now let's talk about your larger devices, like your e-mobility devices, scooters, bikes, hoverboards, things that contain hundreds of these battery cells. When those things fail, it can be catastrophic. A lot of energy is re being released. A lot of explosive gases are being released. You can have a room deflagrate in under 30 seconds. If these devices fail and you're at home, get out of the structure, get everybody out of that building as fast as possible. And when you leave, shut the doors. For example, watch this video right here. That is not an ideal situation if you're at home. Number one, you should not have this thing charging in your house. Would you bring a gasoline powered scooter in your house? Absolutely not. Do not charge these e-mobility devices in your house or apartment. The results can be catastrophic. Let me show you a different way of handling it. Run. If you are a firefighter and you arrive on scene to one of these types of incidents, very good odds that the lithium ion batteries inside that scooter have burnt themselves out. If it isn't, apply lots and lots of water to cool down the area, fight the fire that's inside the structure, but always wear your PPE. These batteries can eject all over the room. There could be multiple ignition points in that room. And you wanna make sure you collect every single one of these spent battery cells, get them out of the structure as well as the device. Um, but you can't use a thermal engine camera and know that this thing's gonna be safe and this thing is not going to blow up in your face. So always wear full PPE, SCBA when doing overhaul. Get all the battery cells, get the e-scooter, everything outside of the structure. But overall, there's nothing special about fighting these types of fires when you're talking about an e-mobility device. On a future video, I'll talk about how to dispose of these types of cells after the incident, what to do with them. So subscribe to my channel so you get alerts to new and upcoming videos. If you have any questions or ideas for future content, please comment below.